So you shared your experience yeah. with Bell's palsy. That's right. This happened as I woke up in the morning. So probably happened in the middle of the mm -hmm. night. So luckily for me, I was away in the US, so I was home. So I woke up that morning. I tried to reach my phone, you know. Mm -hmm. The mind wants to pick up the phone, mm -hmm. but the body is not responding. Not responding. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a very confused thing because I know that I want, what I want to do now, there's a side table, I'll pick up my phone, lie in bed, and, and then you, in the mind, that's what you're doing, but the Your body, body is not moving. So I got to turn the other way, and my body, I'm like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Something is going on, so now it's not the phone again, it's like, why do I need to turn like that? Then my wife comes in, you know. That's small, hi, good morning. What? Is something wrong with you? You know, she's in medical field. All right. One look. I, right. I didn't see myself lying on the yeah, bed, yeah, yeah. but my face was already halfway down here. You Droop know, in. droop. Then now you can't respond. Uh-huh. So in trying to respond, you now figure that, okay, what has happened is you've lost total control of all of those facial muscles, you know? So, like, are you having a stroke? <laughs> Emergency, blah, blah. Hospital was already waiting outside because of course they thought it was a stroke. Mm -hmm. Roll you in, they do all these tests. And then in that time, you're just lying there. You don't even know what's going on. <laughs> and they were done, okay. So, um, we have looked at this condition and what we're thinking is when we have this kind of situation that presents in this manner mm -hmm. without a known cause, mm -hmm. then what you must have is uh, Bell's palsy. So by process of elimination, they yes. got to that. So it's no known cause, yes. but you end up looking like you have a stroke, yeah. then you get a droop, on your face, yeah. then it focuses on your face and takes away your ability to move those muscles, which means you cannot blink at will, mm -hmm. which means if a fly were to come to my eye, I'll be looking at it until it gets in my eye. Right. Yeah. <laughs> which means you try to eat, you yeah. put something in your mouth, but you cannot chew because this part will move. So everything you put in your mouth just, just comes out of the side. Just falls out. Uh, uh, yeah. So you're like, so Bell's palsy, my Bell's palsy was there. So unfortunately, because there's no known cause, that's why we call it Bell's palsy, that means there's no known cure. <laughs> yeah, because we have to know what's causing it. So this, in some cases, will resolve itself yeah. naturally. Yeah. In some cases, it stays permanent. In cases where it has resolved itself, we have known patients to wait for about 24 months, 36 months, 48 months before they start seeing some... Signs of improvement. Signs of improvement. And then some people just get to live with it. <laughs> I'm listening to them, I'm like, this guy's telling me, I'm looking at all the posters, and I can literally just imagine a poster with my face on it, but that face is now blank. You know, I'm looking at all the... So your uh, mind is going wild. Oh, my, this is all of my... This is, this is that career that I said I knew what I was doing. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Your mind flashes back. Yeah, it's okay. Well, you said you knew what you were doing. You said the book said so, and the book, the book. These books, and, and that book, book, that book my father was talking about, yeah. they were in alignment. Mm. 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 How could this possibly be? That was a significant emotional event. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's an understatement. Yeah, that was a significant emotional, emotional event. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you pause everything. Yes. It don't matter to me mm. because everything happens for a purpose. Mm. The book says that purpose is always in your favor. Sometimes even to the point of being immodest <laughs> to God. Yeah. I like that self-awareness. Yes, yes. Even to the point of being immodest yeah. to God because yeah. it's me challenging him. Yes. Did you say I'm a God? Yeah. You didn't yeah. say I should always come to the office and say, sir. Yes. You say I should go and tell it. So all I need 
is to make sure that I'm aligning, I'm thinking mm. consciously of aligning, because sometimes mm. you might not really be aligning mm. with his thoughts. Yeah. But you must be intentional about aligning. Mm. Yes. So when you fail, it won't be out of not trying. Yeah. So once I know that I'm aligning, no, I ask the God, I talk to the most intelligent person that I know, me. Yes. Yes. So that's why I say I have God yeah. in one hand. Yeah. I have Google in another yeah. <laughs> hand. There's nobody on the face of the earth yeah. more intelligent. Yes. With God and Google. With God and Google, there's nobody. Then I start feeling like there's some tingling in my feet. Uh, I'm like, is that a movement? As a matter of fact, till today, I still find myself waking up to me moving my feet. <laughs> Testing, testing. I'm still testing. <laughs> <laughs> you know? The thing with Bell's Pap's palsy really is it focuses on the face. Mm. You see, that's them giving me the information. They're just busting this my bubble now. Right. So they were, so they were telling you not <laughs> to have hope. On yes, this. yes, that's they, they're telling me in case, in case they're telling me to set my mind straight. Uh, the thing with <laughs> Bell's <Bell's Pap's> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so yes. don't, don't go thinking, uh, you know, it's really, uh, if, uh, you can move around, you'll be able to do everything else, but you're going to have a droopy face. Yeah. <laughs> Bubble bust. <laughs> that was to God. <laughs> Wasting my time. Wasting, <laughs> Wasting giving me moving feet. <laughs> You know? Yes. So, yes. I took that in. I said, okay, no. This is not going to stop me. I'm going to get up. That's what I would have told my brother if he came in and said, what do I do? I said, no, don't let that stop you. You have to keep going. You know, that's just a small distraction. And I said, so tell yourself. That's a small distraction. And I proved it to myself. Okay. Right there, lying on the hospital bed. Uh -huh. I told my guy, I said, man, book my flight to Lagos, change ticket to tomorrow. What? The day after the policy. So you can imagine everybody's going, are you crazy? The day after your diagnosis? The day after. Then you can imagine my wife at home say, you must be mad. Something's going to be mad with you. I mean, we know that you were mad before because every time you're going to Nigeria, <laughs> they never see anybody who loves to going go to Nigeria, to Nigeria yeah. like I do. So we knew that you were mad before. But you always had a reason. <laughs> there was a reason for the madness. This so one. Was, so what's the reason for now? this one. So that's the reason I have to prove to myself. Hmm. I have to prove to that this is just a distraction. Yeah. Yeah. And we had a big blowout because I left the next day. You actually left? I left the next day. Got on the plane. Now, this was happening in the middle of the tour, the tour for 76. Right. So this was a big movie tour, it obviously. It was a big movie. We had been to Cannes, yes. you know. Yeah. We had just we had done big things. We were scheduled to go to about six, seven festivals around the world. We were prepping to go to the British International Film Festival right. when I took that break. Right. So it was in the middle of... So it was in the middle of all this. I just said, no. Your father didn't want you to be an actor. Uh, you couldn't even say that you want to be an actor before you hear that he didn't want you to be an actor. You knew in your mind. <laughs> <laughs> this was a no-go area, <laughs> you know. So, so you start by sneaking out, you know, to go do these things, you know. And luckily, I started off as a model. Yeah. yeah. So back in the days before the home video industry, yes. the so commercial was, model, the commercial you modeling, modeling, you know. Yes. So I did a lot of commercial modeling, yes. runway modeling, yes. TV commercials, yes. Yes. calendars yes. back in the days. Yeah. So it was way easier. You can go in daytime, do a quick shoot, and come, come back. back and it's unlikely to see because it's not in the Yes, yeah. so, you, so you we're just having a good time. But the many occasions where you come back late from a shoot, it's like, where are you coming from? You can't even explain. I say, well, I went to, so that you went, well, okay, go back where you are coming. That's my father for you. He said, yeah. well, just go back, come back in the morning. <laughs> and we'll talk then. And he doesn't care where you go. Mm -hmm. 
You know, if you stay down that lit. You know, my father is kind of guy that where you say, hey, Chidi is at the police station. There was an instance like that. Okay. She was at the police station. Hello, Mr. Malcolm X. I mean, oh, we have your son. I said, who? Chidi. He said, Chidi. He said, where, where you say? Police station. He says his name is Chidi. No, the Chidi that I know, we have no business. In the police station. So he left you in the police station. Look at you. It's his wife that has to take care of that mess. <laughs> That's the kind of fact. The Chidi that I know. Yes. Nah. He has no business in the police <laughs> you know? So now, from all this sneaking out, and of course his passion, I just knew that I was happy when I'm in this space. Mm. That was the only thing. Mm. Then I think what broke the cameras back? I eventually went in, I tried to read pharmacy. Okay. It wasn't happening. Then I eventually went in to read computer science. Right. Yeah, I said, okay, I can do this work, you know, these interesting keyboards. It was new at the time. And then you get to school and there are no computers. <laughs> First and foremost. First and foremost. And then there's one computer in the entire department and that computer sits on the table of the lecturer. lecturer. You know, only he brings his notes to class. Then he goes back to go and learn his, uh, I said, oh, come on, mm -hmm. this is not interesting anymore. You know, mm -hmm. I took a decision to leave home. So it wasn't me just packing my bags and leaving. It was from all the experiences of go back where you're coming from. Go back. So before you know, I'm getting used to being out, going back to where, going back to where I'm coming from. Then you're getting used to looking for a nice place to go back to when they say go back where you're coming from. Then you start preparing how to do change of clothes and that, all the inconveniences. Once you sorted all that out, you could go back where you're coming from anytime. <laughs> so instead, you start committing so that they'll say, you can go back to where you're coming back from. Where you're yeah. coming from. You know, so that's how I started transiting myself back. Until this one moment, I tell you this, I never said this anyway. I had this production I was going to do. In the early days, I think it was my first uh, sub-lead role or something. Mm. And then they called me this morning. Are you available? Can you come and say this? I'm prepping for exams that morning. So it was that moment of decision. All these things you think you have been reading. What's it going to be? I thought about it. One, two, three. These guys won't wait for you. Yes, yes man. Yeah. I'm going to shoot. Wow. The moment I said I'm going to shoot, I was saying, you know, you are dead. Yes. <laughs> you are dead. You are dead. Now, <laughs> now you are dead. Yes. You know? Yes. And that was it. That decision. From that, everything else, just stream roll. From there, you end up outside. Aunties are calling and say, okay, please forgive him. You might say, the person you're talking about does not even want forgive forgiveness, you know? So we had that moment where we were, you know, we just turned our backs. Yeah. You so know? you and your dad turned your backs on each other. On each other.